Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, Devil Boats by Joe Carter, distributed by Compass Games. Um, going to go for Mission 3. I kind of blew some things out my rear yesterday. Uh, the, um, I'm only supposed to have two boats in a supply dump, uh, drop-off, and I had all four. And, um, and I didn't need to do the second round of, uh, guns but that's okay we get two extra boats to do it with so um we'll take it as what it is um probably put ourselves through more grief that we should have and um um at least we had the extra two boats to do it um so we managed to make it through it so let's see if we can't do today right and uh start out with a malaria check we're going to roll 2d10. We get a 99, which will be 18. One. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, one one crewman comes down with malaria. Uh, roll 2d6 to determine which crewman affected. Six. Tormate, torpedo mate, two. So we got to find out, we're going to put that on him first, and then, um, and we go to A1, but see, it's obviously there's some back two. I'm going to pause this real quick. First one I ran into that, I know we got dysentery. But, or malaria, but I'm not sure how much we got. So give me a second while I check in on this one. First time I ran into this. Okay, so that is Torpedo Mate 2 is going to be permanently, um, that's what happens. Infected crewman is hospitalized and later sent back to the States and discharged from active duty. So um, we've got to go in right now and replace him. So we'll do that. Um, Torpedo Mate 2. The day is, so well, he lasted three days with us. So uh, his replacement will start on the third, and we will roll up a name. 40 and 73. 40 will be Gilbert. Gilbert, come on, man. You're killing me here. Gilbert Godfrey. No. Gilbert Richardson. And we'll just call him Gil for short. And we have a replacement. Do we do need to roll to see if he gets eagle eye? What die 10? Two, he does not. So he has been replaced. So now we can go back to the main tables. And I wonder then if dysentery comes on. Yes, dysentery comes on the um random so i was getting confused i never had either one of those hit and um so common blindsided me weather check for today four good weather nightly mission 10 a special mission we're gonna see if we can do a little better tonight i'll go to table a3 roll d6 two coast watcher pickup b PTs must pick up an allied coast watcher in his assigned area. Avoid detection while in pickup zone. So coast watcher pickup. Never done one of these before either. The assigned zone will be upon successfully reaching the special mission assigned zone, go to F1A, B, or C. And um now we will go down to assignment zone two and this time we are going to make sure we read bt boats assigned a mission i had this right the first time i did a supply depot dump off i don't know why i missed it yesterday um 
Passenger pickup, drop-off, and supply delivery special missions always, Greg, consist of two PT boats only. If only one PT boat is available, reserve PT boat must be used as number two boat if available. So we're only going to have two boats. Us and number two. We're just going to go ahead and move them up out of the way. Yeah, that's my wall of shame right there. Actually, I made it harder on myself um, because it was, with four of us, there was like almost no chance of being, uh, of getting through. And that there should be uh, collision check. I don't, I think, not reef collision check, but I could be wrong. What do I know? Um, IGN air attack on the base. Seven. No air attacks this night. Thank you very much. Sea state in zone one. Seven. It's going to be a two. Random event. Nothing. Air patrol. Six, five, six, nothing. Go to two. C state in the zone. One, or that will be one. Random event, 40, nothing. IG and air patrol, two, nothing. We go to zone one, yellow. C state in this zone, eight. Here's up to two. Random event, 19, nothing. Air patrol, five, nothing. We go to two. Um, when C state, one, goes back to one. Random event, 54, none. IGN Air Patrol, four, none. And then we go into zone two. And I'm going to pause this real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Um, so we just entered red two. And we've got to roll for our C state. Three will be one. Good. That's a good and bad. It will be easy to spot. Random event. Ten. Nothing. IGN Air Patrol. Three. Minus uh, plus one is four. Five, six. No enemy air contacts. Convoy. One. Two, no contacts. So we're going to go straight to our special missions. And and um, da, 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 da. Get, get getting confused here. Sorry, I'm getting interrupted. My train of thought's getting messed up. Um, okay, let's get our head wrapped around this. We did convoy contacts. Now we don't roll for sure because we are on a special mission. So we go straight to F, special missions one. And we're doing Coast Watcher down pilot pickup. Upon reaching the uh, assigned mission red zone, your PT squadron must pick up or drop off an allied Coast Watcher or pick up a downed pilot and traveling close range on a special mission board. If weather is good, uh, PT starts out in the long range zone, which it is. So it'll start out in the long range zone. Um, Regardless of starting point, PT boat idle speed is not possible in the first uh, 
combat round. We're going to put a no detection there too to remind us. Oh, we're not see state four. Okay, so we're going to go, we're trying to be stealthy, so we're going to bring this uh, speed out. And we're going to set slow. Okay, now, um, in slow speed, we can move one forward. And this is actually our first turn in the offensive zone. Got to remember to do that. I got to remember to start chunking them down too. And I actually ought to put something in there for elite. So I remember what elites we get. I might put an E or something in there. So. Hmm. Anyway, um, we're going to move. Let's just move the whole kit and caboodle here. Up to there. And we're going to draw out PT1 and PT2. So we have them available. All right, and so we're going to then see range movement, um, squadron detection. Roll one die ten for each combat round. We're going to roll a four. Minus two is two. Plus two is four. Plus two is six. No, plus one. Any boat is in medium range. Um, so that's five. And the weather is good. Six, seven. Remains undetected. Uh, go to table F5 if attacking supply dump. Otherwise, combat round ends. NPT squadron moves again. Now, do we need to go to... I'm going to keep PT2. I'm going to bring him down to idle. And undo. I didn't want them all selected. Uh, I'm going to bring him down to idle. I'm going to bring PT boat one into shore. No sense trying to crash into the reef with both of them. Um, that will be our movement. And we have success. Upon PT-1 reaching the close range zone, but we got to go for detection and everything first. So we'll come back to that as soon as we go through this. Um, roll one die ten. One, very nice. Um, PT squadron speed is not idle, um, so we're going to be fine. And we're going to go to here now. A passenger pickup special mission upon PT one reaching the close range zone. Roll one die six, three. Rendezvous with passenger successfully made. PT one must remain at idle speed in close range for two consecutive combat rounds in order to pick him up once contact is made. We have made contact. So I'm going to go ahead and get the coast watcher. And I'm going to put him right there. We're picking him up. With two consecutive rounds. Rolling tables two to F7 as necessary while waiting each round. Okay, so um, 
All right, let's do this. First round. We're going to stay at idle. PT2 is going to stay at idle. We're going to roll a D10 for detection. Seven. Ooh, minus three for idle. Fortunately, we all idle right now. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Ouch, we're going to be detected. So I think. Doesn't say anything about if um, it being aborted or anything. Just says we must remain idle in close range zone for two consecutive combat rounds in order to pick him up once contact is made. So it doesn't matter whether we're seen or not. We are seen. So um, A, B. Number of enemy machine gun nests, roll a d10. Five. That'll be two MG nests, bring them on. Okay, and plus two, plus two. Uh, number of uh, shore guns, low number please, no number, three, yes, one shore gun, I can deal with that. Okay, there's our enemy forces arrayed against us. Now we can roll for uh, crew skill, we'll start with the machine gun one, five, average, two, Six average shore gun ten. Of course he is. He's elite. Would not have that any other way. If he fires, he can fire eight times and we're idle and close range. That is not good. Um we remain remain detected for all remaining combat rounds. And um Go to F3. F3 says MG and SPT. Well, we don't do that because we are using the random selections. So we're going to draw. We don't need to do that. We already have them there. MG2, MG1, and then SG1. And that mixes them all up. Um, so who's going to fire first? PT-1, very nice, and we are going to target Mr. Elite there. Um, so, offensive fire. We are looking at idle plus two, plus two for C-State one, that's plus four, plus five, six, seven, plus seven, wow. We're in close range and idle. That's why I like this random better because otherwise they get the fire first and he just rip us a new one. So we got a plus seven and we're going to roll four times. First roll is for the bow gun. Three plus seven is ten. Possible hit. Six. That's a hit. Shore gun one takes one hit. All right, and now we're going to go to AA1, 4, 11. That's going to be a possible hit, superficial. AA2, 10, that's a hit, possible, <laughs> superficial. And stern gun, 4, that's a possible hit. 4, that is a hit, and Mr. Shore gun is gone. 
So, that's a good thing. Get rid of Mr. Elite there. He's the one that could rip us a new one. Um, sure guns. We get one of them. Okay. Now, we got next up. MG2. He's going to fire. He is firing at 1, 2, 3 is 1. 4, 5, 6 is he's firing at us. So he's going to be targeting us. MG2. MG2 gets to fire. In case you're wondering where I got that from. Right there. Um, his modifications are probably going to be just as nice. Uh, plus, yeah, plus 7. So he needs a 10... He gets a plus seven modifier. Machine guns aren't quite as bad, and he's not elite. So we're just rolling four times. I wonder if I did that this, that way yesterday. I think I did, yeah. Um, D10. Duh. The plus seven... The two will not hit, but the seven will, so that's one hit. And two, three hits. Three hits on us. So for each hit, we come down here. No, that's PT votes. Duh. Come on, Greg. Get your shit together. There we go. Once, roll one die ten. Once for each MG nest, sure gun target, two times for an elite. So our first roll was that dreaded two. You know what? Let's just re-mulligan that. I'm going to, I want to call it a miss because two was our first roll, but we're just going to start all over. Um, and check the, check the um, modifications again too, just to make sure. That's what you get for being on the wrong chart. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, yes, plus seven, eight. That's going to be a hit. Go to table G1. Roll four times for each indirect, but it's not. It's just a machine gun hit. D10, three, bow section interior. Bow section interior, one die, ten, seven. Hull below water line. That's him. Now, next up, PT2. He's going to go against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's going after, I wish he'd go after 1. 1 hasn't fired yet, but oh well. Um, that's going to be a plus 7 also. So he's going to fire 4 times. Um, 1 hit, 2, 3 hits. Possible hits. We got to go to special missions. There we go. Possible hit. We got to roll four to six. Two. Okay, there we go. Second hit is a good one. And the third hit gets him for good measure. So MG2 is out. We can put a MG down here is killed. Get him out of there. Return that to deck. And next draw, MG1. MG1 is going to fire at PT Boat 2. Gets one time plus seven. He's going to hit. No, oh, actually, no. He rolled a six. It's probably still a hit, but where he's not in close range. He's in medium range. Probably still a hit, though. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it's a hit. And again, we're looking on the wrong chart. Still. It's still a hit. Um, PT2 to 4 hit by a machine gun nest roll. 1 die 10. 
one superficial damage outstanding and he is done and that brings up sure gun he's no longer with us um, that's the end of the first combat round we do got to look for uh, sure gun assistance one die ten two no enemy aircraft we'll take that close range zone reef collision I think I missed that on the first round um, six by four first one was good second round we got uh, weather's good minus two Hmm. No idle. You think idle would be better than slow? Oh, duh. Come on, Greg. Uh, does not apply to idled or disabled. So yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Um, that first roll ro was for the first round that I missed when we pulled in there. End of combat round. We are good. We're going to roll in two. We know we're detected already. Nobody's going to move. We're going to stay at um, idle. Ah, undo. I want them to go to random draw. Okay, so there's only three of us left. So the first one to fire is going to be PT2. He's got no choice but to target him. He rolls four times. We're looking at a plus seven. Two hits, four hits, and we need a four, uh, four or above. And we got one right there, so he's not going to see the light of day. Another MG out. And that sure gun was elite. Okay, um, this is the second combat round. It's done, so we successfully pick up the Coast Watcher. Let's move him over to... Come on, Greg, get it together. Passenger 1. And then we're done with this. Oh, you know what? Just return. I know I made that easy. Um, okay. So, now we head out to the yellow two. Go back to the main tables. C state one. Gonna stay at one. Random event. 14, nothing. Air patrol. One, nothing. Move to two, uh, to one. C state in that zone. Three, it's going to stay at one. Random event, 63, nothing. IGN Air Patrol, six. Seven. No Air Patrol, move to two. Nice, I like it. Nine will be the sea state. Sea state of three. We can still go fast, but we're going to stay at medium. Random event, 27, nothing. IGN Air Patrol, 9. Ooh. I think it, I think we're good because we're in a green zone now. 9, 8, 9. No enemy air contacts. Move to zone 1. C State, 1. Random event, 92, nothing. Air Patrol, Five, nothing, home sweet home. Successful. Now we go into the VPs. Um, get my chart up here. We got two MGs and one shore gun. And I'll put an expert after it. Okay, so we destroyed one shore gun elite, 15 and two MG nets. That's 10, so 25 points there. Um, 
We lost nobody, which is good. And special missions, um, actually VPs, there is a special mission, special mission victory points right here. After completing a special mission, 50 VPs. So we got 25 plus 50 is 75. And that's another good mission. Um, medals awarded. We can't even think about it yet. We're on a loan campaign. Um, so we need to get 200, no, 401 to get to there. And we're not even close. Yeah, we are 180, about halfway home. Um, so repair times. We took a haul below water line. Um, whole blue water line, that's 10. And that's all the damage we took, so we're ready to go. Um, PT2 just took a superficial, so they're ready to go. So we can reset that. We've taken care of everything on that. Um, so we're all good here. We're all good here. We got our newbie in there. He's got a mission under his belt. I still got to figure a way to tally up their missions. It's kind of difficult to keep going in and putting the numbers next to their names. So we'll figure it out. And that is it, my friends. Um, successful mission. We got... Uh, yet another decent mission. I think I played that one right. Um, and if not, just let me know and I'll get it right the next time. So there we have it. That is Devil Boats and that was Mission 3. Thanks for joining me.